Welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today we have a video by Angelina. As you might have heard me say on my Monday tutorial, we are changing our YouTube schedule a bit. And that means that you will see Debbie, Eva, Daniela or Angelina on a Friday YouTube video. You will still be seeing me, Linda, on the Monday videos and we will still have Simone on the Wednesday videos but the other ladies will take turns all on the Fridays. So for today we have a new video with Angelina and she is creating this cyborg makeup tutorial for us. This is quite an elaborate tutorial so it takes a few minutes for Angelina to put the makeup on her skin but if you are interested in how you can create a makeup just like this one please keep watching because we will show you step by step in this video. As this makeup is going to have quite a lot of details, Angelina is first sketching out the basics of this look. And that is something she does with a white water-based face paint by Diamonds FX. And with just a detail brush, she is putting the basic stripes on there to create some guidelines. Once all of those guidelines are on there, we continue to a blue neon face paint by Diamonds Diamond Effects and a light blue one by Diamond Effects as well. I will link to all the products used in the description box down below because Angelina is going through them quite fast in this video and if I forget to mention any of them you will find them all in the description box down below. So after the light blue and the regular blue here is black and that creates kind of a skull-like effect. So it is a cyborg, but it is a skull-like cyborg as you will see in a few minutes. And it is a very colorful one as well. So Angelina puts on a lot of color on her skin. And once the base of that color is on there, she is using a dry face painting brush to blend the colors and create nice smooth transitions from each color to another. Back to that blue for the lips. And once that is on there, she has a new guideline to follow and create some shadows in the pink part. And the color she uses to create the shadows in the pink is just a dark pink eyeshadow. It is by Ben Nye and that will also be in the description box down below. So here is the blue again. And also some purple. And the big spot on her cheek is going to be entirely black, for now at least. There will be paint on there in a bit, but this black bit creates some depth. Also a black outline for the teeth. And some of the details she just painted on her skin. So as I said, in that black part there will be some details. And the first color Angelina uses to put those details on the skin is white. This is once again the Diamond Effects White that goes pretty good over black face paint. You also have glycerin based face paints and then the white tends to get gray. That is least the case when you use a product like Diamond Effects which is wax based. So all tubes on the same area with pink, purple, yellow. You can mix this up a bit if you want to of course. And then it's time to put some highlights on the skin. And the easiest way to do this over water-based face paint is by using powders. You can use Star Blends by Meron to do this with. And you can also use eyeshadow powders. Just pick the color that you think would be best for your design. And that will work as long as it is a powder. So as you can see, Angelina is putting highlights on the makeup now. And most of it goes around the dark area. So just around the black on the eye on the temple and also a bit on the cheek part some details in black as well of course and of course the outside of the entire design needs some black as well so once it's on there you just get a dry face painting brush and blend it out towards the inside of the paint and as you can see that creates a very subtle 
very cool looking shadow. So this design expands a bit on the rest of the face as well. And that is why Angelina is putting all those little spots on her skin. Outline them with black and then put a tiny white line around them and it looks very realistic. So to put in some shadows, we get a brown eyeshadow powder or an ebony star blend and just put a subtle shadow on one side of all of those shapes. And as you can see, that really enhances that three dimensional effect on this paint. And then we continue to the neck and I'm sorry for all the laughing and talking. We were discussing kids and holidays and presents and what we were gonna do for the new years. So that is why you see Angelina talking this much. So the same colors as applied on the face will go on the chest area as well with some green that isn't in the face. So once all those basic shapes are on her chest, there will be a lot of black on there. So Angelina first outlines everything with a black and then just colors the still skin colored bits in black. So that was a lot of black in a few sentences. So as you can see, there is a lot of black in this chest design Angelina is putting on the skin and to get shadows and highlights in there and create more realism in this well fairly simple chest piece she is using white face paint she is using black face paint she is using white powders and black powders as well and before you know it you get a very in-depth realistic looking complex design that is basically built up out of all those easy to put on the skin shapes. As we did on the face, there is the white outline again on the chest area. And as you can see, that immediately creates that three dimensional effect and the shadow in the brown star blend that she just put next to that creates the complete the illusion. So also a few extra spots on the chest like she did on the skin as well the black outline the white highlight around that and a bit of shadow of course so i know this video is only nine minutes but to give you a little impression of how long it takes to create a design like this one angelina actually worked two hours to create this so it looks pretty easy if you put it in a youtube video like this but it actually takes quite a lot of time not because it's that complex but just because there is so much on the skin but anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel in the link below stay tuned on all our videos we have three new videos every week face painting kids face painting, special effects makeup, so definitely stay tuned.